Okay, there we go. All right, welcome everybody. I'm so, so excited for this Zoom. I'm so excited for you guys to hear from your two new diamond leaders, Tabitha Curry and Catherine Russell, um, and then your two new Emerald leaders, Mandy and Cara. I know that they just have so many tips to share with you guys. You guys, just between the two of them, they earned $25,000, I mean the four of them, sorry. They earned $25,000 in bonuses just last month alone, and that's not even including the other bonuses they've earned this year. That's just the ones they earned last month. So I'm just so excited for them to pour into you guys tonight and you guys to just hear all their tips. They're all running for their next promotions of Diamond and Double Diamond this month. And I know that if you take the tips they're going to give you tonight and you implement them and are fiercely consistent this month, you can be right there with them. So I'm super excited. We're going to go ahead and get started with Tabitha. I'm going to let her just introduce herself to you guys for those of you that are new and maybe don't have got a chance to know her yet. Um, just hear a little bit of her story. Hey guys, I'm Tabitha Curry. I am now a diamond leader. I'm so excited. Um, so yeah, uh, I got started in the business 13 months ago. I guess it was 14 now, 14 months ago. Um, just after watching Brittany share her story, um, I got a friend request from her on Facebook. We actually went to church with each other, but didn't connect there. So it was really cool to connect later. Um, and so I just knew I was coachable. I knew that I was hardworking and that if I just picked up the tools that she was offering to me that I could change my life. And so that's exactly what I did. Um, I took off. I talked to everybody. Um, and so that's kind of how I got myself here today is I just took quitting off the table. Um, and so, yeah. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Can you tell everybody just like a little bit about like what you guys' the situation was like when you got started and just how you use that to fuel you and keep going and maybe the moments where you didn't really see results right away or if you felt like you had a slow week or you know, whatever, just like what that, like what kept you going? For sure. Um, so when we first started out, we were definitely struggling financially. Um, People didn't really know that except for like close family, but at our lowest point, we had to get on WIC for assistance um, to buy our groceries. Um, my husband was having to bike to work a couple times a week because we just didn't have enough money for gas to get him there. And so uh, we were living in government apartments, like it, we were struggling. <laughs> and so um, I was like the queen of selling things on Craigslist, on eBay. I mean, I went and bought the big tub of cookie dough at Walmart and baked cookies so my husband could take them and sell them at work. Like, we were trying to make ends meet. And so after watching Brittany, I just knew like, this is out of my comfort zone. I am an introvert. I don't know anybody. I didn't even have a smartphone at the time. Um, and so I was just like, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna run and I'm gonna grow and I'm gonna push through that. And so my business started off pretty, pretty well. Um, and then I kind of hit a lull and you're going to see that in this business, you're going to have highs and lows and you just have to push through them. Um, I was fortunate enough for Brittany to kind of slap me around <laughs> and snap me out of that and just say, girl, you've got this. And so I did, and I picked it back up and I started, um, for me, it was the before and afters. I kind of started shying away from that. And as soon as I started doing my before and afters every single day, I had people coming back to me wanting to purchase. And so um, that's what you have to do. It's really in the before and afters. People want to see what these products do for you. And so that's how we do that is by sharing that. I love that so much. And I love how you just said, just put it so simply. Like I think so often that we can just get in our own head and we just kind of get shy away from doing the basic things, but that's how simple this is is you guys if we get back to basics we can have the results that we want but we just have to just be consistent and do those things that we know to do so um okay now we're going to go on to Catherine. are you on yeah there i see you okay i just unmuted you Catherine. if you will introduce yourself and just tell everybody a little bit about your story um and then also just kind of like what kept you going you've been in the business i think a couple months longer than tabitha so you've obviously had those same highs and lows she talked about um tell us your story and then just what what pushed you through in those times for you? Hey, everybody. I am Catherine Russell, newest diamond leader. Um, I've been in the business about 16 months. And for me, you know, what pushed me was the fact that me and my husband, like our schedules are complete opposite. 
So like he works two weeks day and then he flop, flip flops to two weeks night. And I work um, night shift, like three to 11. So we never see each other. So I knew, you know, after I watched Brittany, I knew it was completely possible for me to um, retire him, retire me, so that we could be more a full-time family, um, especially now with our little Ragnar. Um, so when, when I first started, it was, we had just gotten married and we had a lot of debt from fixing up my grandparents' house to, you know, having to buy all new furniture and like, cause we had nothing. Um, so we accumulated a lot of debt. And so I knew I wanted that extra few hundred dollars for that. Um, and then I don't know if y'all know about our infertility journey, but, um, like six months into marriage, we, we, I knew that it was going to take a little while. So we started seeing a doctor and we have found out since then that it's going to be very hard. So we are battling, um, possible IVF. So when that came about, um, I was very discouraged and I kind of like Tabitha, you just kind of feel yourself falling backwards and I knew that I had to just snap out of it because me falling backwards it was not going to retire my husband it was not going to retire me it was not going to get our family that we so much desire to have um so I just kept doing or listening to trainings and doing my self-development every single day um I felt myself not doing that and when I wasn't doing that I felt like I was being defeated. Um, and I think that that is the devil's way of, you know, saying you're not meant for this. So once I started doing that, I listened to um, Stephen Furtick a lot. Um, and he, he just speaks to me on so many levels. So once I started doing that, um, I felt myself kind of get back in the groove. And um, just the fact that we, may have to do IVF that was the push too because I know how expensive that is and no insurance is going to cover that but I know that with this business a hundred percent like we're going to have a huge family so I'm not worried about it um just trusting God in every situation and um I'm ready to go double so <laughs> I love so much how you pointed out that, you know, when we start feeling ourselves falling backwards and the enemy gets in our head that, you know, that's what that is. Because I think so often, you know, we're in this funk and we don't realize why we're in it. But if we stop and realize what's happening, we're like, okay, he knows if he can attack our mind, he can just, you know, dismantle everything that God's been doing in us. And so I love that you said you just caught yourself and we're like, no, not today, Satan, and just kept going. Because I think that so often that's that's as simple as it is, but it, sometimes it can be hard to realize that. So, um, okay, now let's go on to Kara. I don't know if you're already muted. Oh, there you are. Okay, I just got you. Oh no, I just muted you back, sorry. Okay, you just unmute yourself. <laughs> Looking at every time you're doing it. Um, Kara, if you will introduce yourself to everybody um, and then just share a little bit about your story and then just kind of the same thing, like what has kept you going on those moments, you know, or those days when it's not as easy as others. Absolutely. So my name is Kara Stith. I am a newly promoted Emerald leader on this team. Um, I started back in February, towards the end of February. Um, and, you know, I feel like we all have similar stories in, in the regard that, you know, you watch Brittany for months and months. And for me, I just kept getting these like little pulls at my heartstrings, right? Like, I would go back and forth with reaching out. And then it was kind of like, okay, she's a stranger. I have no idea who this is. Um, but finally took the leap of faith and I'm so, so glad that I did. Um, yeah, about kind of reaching that wall. So I promoted within my first 30 days to executive, reached Ruby the next month, and then it was kind of stagnant. I kind of hit a plateau for a little while. And it's so, so true. Like when you're going for that next promotion, it's crazy just how life's forces are just coming at you, coming at you, especially towards the end of the month. I don't know if anyone else has experienced that too, but it feels like you put in that consistent effort and that consistent work and then bam, you know, those last five days, everything in the world that you could think of happening happens. Um, and kind of just to echo Catherine a little bit, the one thing that I can say that has helped is self-development. You hear it talked about so, so much, but if you aren't pouring into yourself, there's absolutely no way that you can pour into others and pour into your team. Um, and at this point, we all know that this is 
this business is all about teamwork. So really just staying consistent with self-development. And when I say consistent, when I'm at work, I still work full time. Um, so when I'm at work, I'm almost constantly listening to something um, just to keep my mind in a space where, you know, I'm in a healthy and happy place. And then subsequently I can, you know, kind of transfer that energy to my teammates. So um, in hitting those walls, I, I would say beyond a shadow of a doubt, self-development is one of the most important things that you can do. Um, and then kind of secondary to that is just remembering your why. Um, and your why can change over time, right? Like the reason that you started the business might not be the reason um, why you continue to work the business, but just having that in the forefront of your mind always um, helps you get through those periods where things don't seem to be clicking as much or you feel like you aren't you know, promoting as quickly as you should be. So self-development and remembering your why, even if that why changes. I love that. And I love that you pointed out that your why can change because I think so often we're, we're hung up on that one reason we started, which maybe it was just $300 extra a month to like not have, you know, just that, that gap in between, you know, our final bills being paid and then the next time our check came. Um, but it just develops into so much more. Just like Catherine's saying, you know, with her infertility journey, like life's going to throw things at you that if you really stay true to this business and stay focused, you're going to realize God put this business in your path for so many things bigger than just that first initial couple, couple hundred dollars. Like for her, that's all she wanted in the beginning was just to pay down debt. And now it's a way to pay for an infertility journey. And I think that so many of us can relate to that, just having that initial why and then that why that just keeps progressing as we go on. So I love that you pointed that out. Okay, Mandy, if you will um, share with us and just introduce um, introduce yourself to everybody and then just share a little bit of your story and then same thing, like what has kept you going during those seasons where things just weren't quite as easy as they were at some other times. Hey y'all, I'm Mandy and I'm super nervous. I don't even know why. <laughs> um, so I've been working my business now for 10 months and I was actually, I'm a little different because I was watching Tabitha. Um, we went to middle school and high school together and um, I remember seeing her very first post and it just really captured my attention and I was always liking them in the product posts, but it took me probably like two months before I was like, okay, what's this cleanse? Like I'm interested, I'm going out of the country. And so um, I became a loyal customer and then several months later, she had actually asked me um, if I ever thought about network marketing and for the past few months, I had been researching it because I had somebody reach out to me from Beachbody. And so I was just doing a bunch of like background homework on it and I could never get the time to get the girl on the phone. So I was like, mm, not doing that. Um, and so, yeah, I just, I told her yes. And then just after like a week of thinking about it a little bit more, I had my husband's support. I was thinking that he, that was going to be my out, that he was going to be like, oh no, you know, you can't do that. But he was like, absolutely, you should do it. So um, I jumped right in, but I really feel like four months ago is when I finally decided and just really made a decision and a commitment. Um, and then since then, things just really blew up. And so you know, things at work started getting so crazy. Like my boss was leaving. And at that point, it's like, you know what, I can sit here and make excuses for my business because life's just going to keep happening and it can just stall me or I can just go for it. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I love that so much, Mandy. I'm so proud of you. Okay, next I would like all of you guys, if y'all just wanna share just like a couple, it doesn't have to be the same thing. I was gonna ask you guys some specific questions, but I think you guys all probably have just unique angles to bring to the table. Um, if you guys all just wanna share just a couple tips um, of just things that just really worked for you the past couple months, you know, and helped make the difference in your promotion, um, whether that's with signing customers, signing distributors, both, just whatever you feel like specifically worked for you. Um, we'll start with Tabitha. Okay, so my biggest thing is be a good storyteller. Stories are what people are drawn to and they connect with. So I basically just use my social media as like my online journal. And I'm not talking like you go deep and pull skeletons out. I'm just saying let people see who you are. Let them feel like they're connected to you, that they know you, that they're always interested in tuning into your page every day because they want to see what else you're up to. Um, so just be a good storyteller. And part of that with attraction marketing is having really good pictures. You have to have high quality 
quality pictures. So um, I know Claire's done some trainings on editing pictures and stuff and just making them look really clean and eye catching. You want to have people stop their scroll when your picture comes up and check out what's going on over in your little world. Um, so be a good storyteller. Um, heading back on, do your before and afters every single day. Um, genuinely love on the people in your newsfeed. Genuinely love on your team. Like even if you just have one person under you or you have one loyal customer, love on them. <laughs> um, that makes all the difference. Um, what else? Host a post. Host a post is life, guys. If you're looking for a way to bring in a lot of volume very quickly, host a post. Um, so we're doing the giveaway. If you guys haven't bought into that, it's 10 bucks. Like you can do that, you can afford that. Um, and that lets you promote the $500 Target gift card all month long. And so that is a great way to generate host a post. Another way is to go back and talk to all of the current loyal customers because they're satisfied customers. So just message them and say, hey girl, I have a quick question. And then let them respond to that and then ask them if they would mind hosting a post for you. Um, and then that is another great way to get into other people's um, networks and letting other people see your business. And so host of posts are amazing. Sorry guys, I like muted and unmuted real quick. Um, yeah, host of posts, you guys, is seriously so huge. If you have not bought into the Target giveaway that we have going on right now, definitely do that. Like Tabitha said, that's just so huge to get into those other people's networks. And also taking it a step further, you just never know when those people are going to be interested in being a distributor too. A lot of the people I had in a couple months ago for host to post that didn't actually order cleanse or coffee, whatever the post was about, have since joined the team and I see a couple of you on this Zoom. So it's just, you just never know. And I'm a firm believer that like if we do everything we can do and we pray for God to put the right people on our path, he will. And so those, again, that can come in the most unexpected ways and most of us is just yet another example of it. So I love that so much. Okay, um, Catherine, I just unmuted you. If you wanna go ahead and share just a couple, um, just tips, just things that really worked for you and made all the difference in the world in your promotion last month. Um, so yeah, I completely agree with everything Tabitha said. Um, if you can buy in on this giveaway, it's so huge because so many people are going to see our products. There's people that don't even know what this business, what this business is and what we have. So when you have people hosting a post for you, that's opening up a whole new ball game for you. Um, there's been several of my customers that I got, um, the last couple of days of the month came from host to post. Um, also, make sure you are following up with everybody. So the last few days, last week of the month probably, I went through everybody in my messenger and everybody in Instagram. And there was people that I had talked to six months ago that had fallen through the cracks. Um, just because they, you know, six months ago they said, no, like I'm not interested, you know. Um, but I messaged them anyway, and I had probably three people that said six, said no six months ago sign up to be a loyal customer that last week of the month. So make sure you're following up with every single person because you never know when they, you know, they may have been in a funk then, they may not have had it financially, um, but if you're reaching out to them, you know, every month, every few months, they may be ready to jump in. And also with host to post, make sure you're doing business host to post too, because I am, I'm talking with a girl now who did a host to post for me for business and it blew up. So I told her, I was like, look, look at all these that you have, you know, if you were to start your business, you're going to, you're going to take off, you know? So utilizing the business as well as um, the products too were, were huge for me. I love that tip so much about going back through your messages because I think, you know, that's something that we may think we are, we remember people, but we don't. And if we're not writing every single name down, and sometimes even if we are, like, I'm pretty organized, I write, I, I mean, literally almost every single person down, but it never fails. There's that one message that comes when you're at Target or, you know, you're in the grocery store or whatever, and you just don't write them down. And like Catherine said, they maybe say no or they don't respond or whatever, and you just totally forget about them. 
but you just never know. They may not have been interested six months ago and could be totally interested now. And I can definitely attest to Catherine's tactic the last day of the month because she was going through everybody. And guys, literally, she called me from work. A lot of you heard me say this in my video, but she needed help moving some LCs because she was at work and it was new patients. And I walk on the e-suite and see eight customers pending. And I was like, holy cow, you just signed like eight people. And she was like, yeah, I've been, I told you. She's like, I've been hustling. So, I mean, again, like you just never know reach, when you reach back out if they're, it, you know, even if it wasn't a good time before, if it is a good time now. So never write anybody off or you know stone unturned. That is just hands down, just one of the best tips that I think I could give when you're pushing for a promotion. So I'm, I love that you shared that, Catherine. Okay, Cara, I just sent you to you. If you want to, same thing, just share um, just any and all tips, anything that worked for you last month. Um, and even just, I mean, the month before, I know the month before Kyle went Ruby. So um, what are the two, or what are the few things that you guys did both months that made those promotions possible? Yeah, when I sat down to kind of do a little brainstorming before the Zoom, I made my list and then I kind of read back over it and I realized everything that I came up with was really basic. So if I could preach anything or emphasize anything, it would just be, if you're going on your trainings and if you're in constant communication with your upline, um, you already have all of the tools in your back pocket. You have all of the resources. It's just about implementation and reminding yourself that, you know, we don't, we don't have to make up um, the map or road to success. We already have a very diligent blueprint. Um, and the only thing that we have to do is, is follow that. Um, so the tips that I came up with, and some of these um, Tabitha and Catherine have already mentioned, which kind of further emphasizes that point. There's no magic, you know, wand. It's just about staying consistent. So that's the first one is to stay consistent. Um, you know, everyone is busy, right? But then we also all have that free time um, and we get to choose what you want to do in that free time. Um, and I would say just putting the business at the forefront um, of your priority list. So one of my favorite quotes, and we hear it time and time again from Brittany and even some of the leaders in Freedom Legacy, if you treat this like a business, you'll get paid like a business. If you treat it like a hobby, you'll, you'll get paid like it's a hobby. So just staying consistent and using your time to really do the things that you know that you need to do. Um, Another would be engage with your network as much as possible. And that's not just going down and double tapping every picture you see, just being very diligent with writing out comments, meaningful comments, not just, you know, throwing a heart or a random emoji, just being thoughtful because that, that's how you build your relations, relationships and rapport online with your market, um, with your social media uh, market. So making sure you're staying engaged, um, follow up as much as possible. This is something that I was pretty shy with at the beginning part of my business. Um, but I've stayed super diligent. And one loyal customer that I got this month in particular is a good example of this. So it was someone that, you know, I started back in February. It was someone that was interested in wraps in March. And I followed up literally every single Friday, sometimes a little bit more frequently than that, if it was towards the end of the month and I knew I needed that volume. And she finally, you know, months later, I'm awful at mental map, however many months later, finally got the wraps and then I introduced the idea of defining gel. So making sure you're following up consistently, not being shy about it. Our products are amazing guys, so there's nothing to be shy about. These products change people's lives. So stay consistent with your follow-ups. Um, I already mentioned self-development. I won't harp on that too, too, too much. Um, engaging with your team, making sure that you're staying in constant communication with your team as well. Um, figuring out how you can support them best. Um, if there are gaps, you know, sometimes everyone isn't as comfortable coming to you to say, hey, you know, I need help with this, this, and this. But that doesn't mean that um, that gap does not exist. So just making sure that you're staying in touch with your team and really being a diligent leader. Um, so yeah, those are a couple tips that really helped my business last month. Um, and like Brittany mentioned the month before that as well. I love what you said about, we don't have to come up with it. Like it's already in place for you. Just, just go with what's already been you know, proven. I think so often people get in their own head and are trying to, you know, reinvent the wheel, so to speak. And just remembering that it's already been done. Like you just have to just do the things. Um, and then also I love the reminder you gave for anyone that has at least one team member under you, like stay connected with your team. What Cara said about, you know, some people will come to you, but some people won't. Um, that's, that's something that even I have had to really remember and just keep in the forefront of my mind. Cause I'm the kind of personality. I just like to assume people are going to come to me if they need help. And what she was saying about not everybody will is so, so true. You guys, not everyone has that personality where they feel comfortable reaching out. If you're on this Zoom right now, I want to publicly say you can always reach out at any time and you will have the help you need. 
But nonetheless, if you are a leader on this team and if you have at least one person on your team, you're, you're a leader. Um, so don't, sorry, excuse me. So don't discount that at all. Um, but making sure you're checking in and, you know, being that leader to your team and just, if you haven't heard from someone in a few days, pop in and say, Hey, how are you doing? How's it going? Um, cause you just don't know that might mean the world of a difference to somebody. So they could be over there struggling and you checking in would make all the difference. So I love that reminder, Cara. Um, okay. Mandy. Um, what are a couple things that you have to share with us that just really just made all the difference in the world in your Emerald promotion this past month? So I came up with um, the three C's. And so some of this is redundant, but kind of from a different angle. And so the first one is a commitment. It just wasn't only a commitment to my business, but most importantly to my customers. Um, I've really stepped up the game in customer care because that's what keeps the residual income. And then also on the other side of the coin is that when our product or our customers love our products, they end up turning into distributors too. Um, and so I've kind of stepped away from the scripts, I guess you could say in a sense, and just really started with just a lot more of organic um, conversation and I would say from the millions of times that I've reached out to Brittany and Tabitha just to get their angle on things I'm starting to find that I've gotten more confident in being able to organically just go and voice message my own customers now from time to time it's like okay I want to see what they would say so that way I can still work on crafting it in my own way um, but that's definitely helped so so much um, the other C that I have, of course, is consistency. Um, and I really think that in September, you know, I, I really stepped up the game then. And so in October, I was really able to see the harvest from that. Um, and I also had like multiple people reach out to me telling me like, hey, you know, I typically, you know, wouldn't inquire or, um, sorry, um, about, you know, about this sort of thing, but, you know, you just seem so genuine and, you know, your, your results, your pictures that you post are just so attainable. Sorry. Um, I have my nephew here and he's starting to get into everything. Um, and so just really just being a real person with, you know, people from Instagram so um, the other C that I have is connecting, and that's really just kind of at a very broad level of, you know, being connected to my leaders, to any of my team members, and um, utilizing the resources. You guys, the October push page was gold. I was on there like every single day, looking at different ways that other people uh, were just signing their customers, and it's like, okay, I'm going to try this, and I'm going to try that, and so... Um, I love that resource so much. I love that. I put those three C's in the chat for anybody that wants to write those down. I think that that's just such a good, simple way to put it and a great reminder. So, um, okay. Uh, the next thing that I wanted to ask you guys, and we'll go back to you, Tabitha, is just what is one thing that you would tell somebody um, that is new, that is maybe just feeling kind of lost. Maybe they're on here and they're, they're just totally overwhelmed. They haven't really gotten started. Um, trying, you know, hard to find their place in the business or number two, what would you tell someone that's maybe been in for a while and is just feeling stuck? Okay. So right out of the gate, I, I tell them it's going to be crazy. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of stuff coming at you really quickly, but just hang on tight because we're going to go through this together. And I send them, um, a little message to, to get them started. I tell them to do a teaser post. And then if, if they do it in the morning, then at night, we're going to do our first business post and just announce what we've done. And then they reach out to 10 people that they are the closest with and just let them know that they started a business. They would absolutely love their support. And we just kind of go from there. And I let them know that I am completely accessible. The team is completely accessible. Any questions you need, if you need wording help, send me screenshots. And we just literally go through the first few days hand in hand because I remember that feeling. Like when I did my first post, I had so many people wanting to support my business, but I did not know what to do. I felt like I was drowning, like I didn't know how to respond. And so um, I stick really close for those few, first few days. Um, 
And then if you're somebody that's been in for a while and you just kind of feel stuck, first off, I'm going to say, get involved with the team. When you feel connected, you feel motivated, you feel um, that there's other people running towards the same goal as you. And it just, it feels like home, like you don't feel alone and you have all the resources that you need. And so just make sure you're getting on the Zooms, make sure you're getting on the family call on Sundays, like just be connected. Um, and then after that, kind of reassess what you can go back to, like, like me. I needed to reassess what I changed that wasn't working for me. So that meant I needed to go back to my before and afters. So our team pretty much knows we shoot for three to six posts a day. So I do the inspirational in the morning. And if it's not an inspirational, it's at least a morning post of me with my coffee. Um, and then I do a lifestyle post. So whatever I'm doing in the day, just to continue my story. So people know, hey, what's Tab doing today? You know, she's over in far off Montana. What's, what's happening over there? Um, and then I do my product posts some more lifestyle posts, and then I try to end my day with a business, a call to action. Um, and so as long as you kind of stay in that mold, you're gonna start generating that momentum, I promise. Sometimes it doesn't feel like it, but you have to remember that life moves through seasons. Everything moves through a season. So some seasons are just kind of quiet and you're just planting and you're laboring. And then other seasons, it's just like, whoa, where did this come from? Everybody's knocking on my door. And so you just have to have that mentality that you're just going to move through seasons, but you're not going to stay in that season. Nobody stays in winter, you know, soon spring and fall and everything else comes. So um, just have that mentality to buckle down and that this is a calling and that you have been gifted this from the Lord. Like this is an opportunity that not everyone's given. And so we need to um, just receive that for what it is and then go out and share it with other people. Um, so that's super important um, to just remember and take quitting off the table. Like you walked through this door of opportunity and now you're going to shut it behind you because you're not going to go. <laughs> you know, the difference between people who are successful and unsuccessful is consistency and staying and just going through it. Um, so that's, I don't, I don't remember who I was listening to, but um, kind of the reason that network marketing has a bad rap is because they've seen a thousand people on their newsfeed start for two weeks and then be upset because they didn't make a million dollars. Like that's not what's going to happen. Like the bakery down the street didn't just open its doors and all of a sudden make this huge profit. Like it's work. You have to put that in. And so um, just having that mentality that you're here and you're going to put the work in and then you're going to see the fruit of your labor. So I don't know if you guys caught this, but twice in a row now you heard something about staying connected. You just heard Andy say that and I heard Tabitha say that. Success leaves clues. So if you're hearing two leaders boom, boom in a row who didn't have any clue what I was going to ask, you heard them say that you have to stay connected. You have to stay close to the fire. There's a reason why you're hearing that. Um, you cannot be in this business like all the way over here with no one around and be successful. Like you're in business for yourself, but you're not by yourself. And the moment you isolate yourself, that's when you start just falling apart. So you've got to stay connected to people. That's so, so good. Um, and what Tabitha said about seasons, I just absolutely love. I think so often we just, we're, we don't understand that life is not always going to be sunshine and roses when it comes to this business, but it's not sunshine and roses within the other part of your life too. Those of you that are on here and are married, like, you know, marriage is not sun, such sunshine and roses all the time. Like the honeymoon phase ends and it's work. Um, parenting, you know, when you hold that newborn baby in your arms, it's such an amazing feeling and you're on this high, but then, you know, the sleepless nights happen, the teething stage happens, you know, whatever. And, you know, the tantrums, all these things you have to deal with, potty training, you name it, like it's hard, but it's rewarding at the same time. And it's the same thing with this business. Like you have to be willing to go through the parts of the business that maybe aren't, you know, aren't as pretty to get through the parts that are pretty, like earning a $7,500 bonus. Um, I was listening to Stephen Furtick today and I shared it. It's like a small little like 10 second video. I shared it on Fire Tribe, but he said something in here and I thought about this and Tabitha said this. He said, you'll never know your potential if you keep trying to resist the process by which God's trying to reveal it to you. And he said, God uses people who don't run away when the ground is hard. And I thought that was so, so good because I'm telling you right now, if you look at the leaders um, on this team, like they have stayed. If you think their life 
life has been easy 24 seven since they started, you're, you're crazy. You're in la land because it hasn't like, I've been on the phone with them. I've heard them crying because they've had a bad day. Like I've seen someone say something negative then, but you know what they, they stay, they quitting has never been on the table for them. And that's why you just watch them all promote. And so having that unshakable faith and that mindset that quitting is not an option. That's why they're where they are now. And that's why you're going to see them all promote again this month too. So I just love that so much. Okay. Sorry. Um, Catherine, what would you say to someone who is brand new and maybe just hasn't gotten started? You know, maybe they did make their first post, but they haven't really done much since then. Um, maybe they're just going super overwhelmed. What would you say to them? And then also, what would you say to someone who's been in for a while and just really hasn't just grabbed the bull by the horn jet and started running? Okay, so if you're new and you've already done your first post and that kind of thing and you're not getting anything, it's okay. Don't feel like, you know, you have to have 10 customers within your first two days or you should be charted executive or Ruby. Sometimes it takes time. You know, we didn't all promote in a week. Um, a lot of people think just because, um, you know, so-and-so has been in it for a month and they're already Ruby. That's okay. You don't have to be. That's why this business is made for everyone. Um, you take your time. You do what you find what works for you and stick to it. Um, don't give up because you're not promoting or you're not seeing results. If you are planting those seeds and you are staying consistent, if you are posting consistently and reaching out to people and making connections with people, you will get the harvest. You will get those customers that you're praying for and those distributors that you're praying for. Um, but it does take time. It's not something that's going to happen overnight. Um, so just get connected like the other two said. It is so important to stay close to your team. Um, if, say, I enrolled you, but you connect more with Cara or Tabitha, um, then that's fine. You know, find whoever is going to connect with you and um, has a similar story maybe to you. Um, if you've been in the business for a while and you feel like you're not, you know, getting anywhere, think back to when you were getting all these customers or you were getting all these distributors and think back to what, what you were doing in that moment because something has shifted. Um, if you're not doing your self-development, if you're not praying about your business, if you're not um, being consistent, and, you know, everything that we talk about in the beginning, um, find that again and just trust that you are in this business for a reason, that God laid this out for you. He put this in front of you for you to just jump full force into. Um, pray every day of your business. He, he is going to be with you every step. It doesn't matter if you feel like you are in a hole or you, you know, are on top of the world. He is going to be there for you. Um, I don't know, Tabitha said pretty much everything that you need to do is just stay, stay consistent, stay connected, um, and just keep doing what works for you. Don't stray from that. Um, don't get discouraged if you're not meeting, you know, what you think you need to be meeting that month you will harvest all of that just stay consistent i love that so much Catherine. i love that you said in the beginning just nonchalantly you weren't even telling everybody to pray for it you were just mentioning that you're praying over your business you're praying over your customers you're praying over the people that god's going to bring to you and you said it like it's completely natural because it's become natural to you which is why we're seeing these results from you but i think so often that can be that missing piece and i know i've been guilty of that in my business before too where i just get so caught up in my own head and so busy but i'm not praying but i just love that you you talk about that just like it's it's just like posting like praying over your business because that is exactly what it should be like so i love that thanks um Okay, Mandy, what is one thing that you would share with um, someone who is maybe new, feeling stuck, feeling overwhelmed, maybe hasn't gotten started, and then someone who has been in the business a while, but same thing, just kind of just feels like they're stuck? Okay, so um, I'm going to make this short and sweet for both. So to the new person, don't quit. I know that's already been mentioned, but 
Um, and to the other person that's been in for a while, just didn't get off to a strong start or whatever the case is, it's not too late to get started. And what I want to tell you is I started in January of this year and in July, I started, I was started that month off as a distributor. I ended it double promoted to a Ruby. And then here it is where, you know, the end of October Emerald. So you've just got to make that decision and go for it. You're not, it's not going to be perfect. Um, but you learn along the way. That's, that's the beauty of this business. And I just love it. I love how simply you put that, especially with a new person, just don't quit, <laughs> just hang in there and it's all going to come together. If you're, if you're consistent, you take quitting off the table. I love that so much. Okay. What is, um, we're going to wrap this up. I know that it's getting dinner time for a lot of people. Um, but just what is one final tip that you guys would just want to share with everybody? Um, we'll start with you Tabitha and it doesn't necessarily have to be like a tip. It can just be like a final word, just a you know, piece of advice, whatever you want to share with everybody before we go. Um, I guess the biggest thing is discouragement's going to come sometimes, but don't stay there. Don't let yourself sit in that. And whenever um, maybe somebody says a negative comment or somebody says something to tear down your business, that's not true. And I want you to immediately connect with somebody on the team because I promise you, all of us have been through that. All of us have had a negative comment. All of us have tried to scream pyramid scheme or, you know, question things or whatever. We've all been there. So you need to just connect with somebody and talk about it because I promise you, like, nobody else is going to be able to understand unless they're in this business too and have gone through it. So whenever discouragement comes or you haven't signed a customer in X amount of days and you're starting to feel discouraged, don't sit there because that's what put my business on hold for a while was I was getting discouraged because I saw all my friends signing distributors for a promo and I sat there and didn't sign one. And so it really knocked me off for a little bit, but then that's when Brittany swooped in and was like, girl, you've got this. And so if I had connected with her and shared that with her, I wouldn't have stayed in that state and my business wouldn't have halted for so long. So don't stay there and just seek out somebody to share that with and get repumped. I love that. Such good advice. And she's so right, you guys. It's going to come, but it's just a matter of what you do with it when it happens because we all have choices to make and we can choose, like she said, to just sit there and just, just – be, just continue to be more and more discouraged about whatever has happened, or we can just pick ourselves up and keep going. So I love that so much. Okay, Catherine, what would be your one thing you can share with everybody? Um, I would just say, you know, whatever season you're in, just keep going. Don't, don't let, you know, the negativity um, stray you away. Don't let you know, people who are telling you that this business isn't going to take you anywhere, remind yourself who, remind yourself of Brittany. Okay, look how far she came. She, you know, started from the very bottom and now she is a six figure income earner. You know, it is obviously um, possible and it's possible for each and every one of you. Um, just stay focused, stay consistent, uh, reach out to your leaders, reach out to the team. Um, stay connected, do your self-development, pray, um, just keep the basics basic and keep running because we're not stopping. I love that. I love that you remind everybody just like look at other people who have had success. I think when I got started, that was the biggest thing for me was I just was like, all right, a player can do it, so can I. And I think so often, I mean, that's as simple as it is, but so often we don't stop and think about that, but there's nothing separating you from anyone else that has had success before you. Like you're, they're, they're no better than you. They're no, you know, there's nothing special about them that you don't have. It's just a matter of you believe you can have it too. So I hope that you shared that. Um, Cara, you, what is one thing that you would want to share with everybody just as we close out? Yeah. Um, I think this is going to sound kind of vague, but retrain the way that you think. I think that everyone can agree that one of the primary reasons you're in this business is to make money and to put yourself um, in a different financial position than you were in 
when you started. Um, but so much of this journey for me, and I think I speak for a lot of other people, is learning to be a better you and learning to um, make those adjustments to whether it's your thinking or not necessarily your personality, but just the way that you approach situations. Um, becoming a more positive person, become a, becoming a more faithful person, becoming a more diligent and consistent person. So just retrain the way that you're thinking um, about the business, but just life in general, um, how you interact with others. And it becomes a lot easier to combat that negative much better headspace um so learn to retrain retrain the way you think plug in as much as possible um one thing that i did at the very beginning of my business in that period of time that it was just like kind of ah oh, like what is all of this this is kind of overwhelming was to just lean into that discomfort i think a lot of times um it's really easy you know when things are mass chaos to kind of retreat but if you lean into it and just kind of accept that things are going to be a little bit crazy for a while and that's okay um but the more that you're kind of flooding your brain with knowledge and training and the things that you should be doing the more natural it becomes and now at this point like working the business is second nature it's not this like huge grandiose thing that you have to do um but a lot of that is um just applying yourself and making time for those trainings um yeah pour into yourself lean into discomfort stay connected with your upline and your teammates and just keep going put your head down and run I love that you shared lean into discomfort because I think that's just something that, you know, we all want to stay in that comfort zone, but like John Maxwell says, like you can't grow in your comfort zone. Like you have like growth and comfort can never coexist. So I love how you put that. That's so good. Um, Mandy, what is one final thing that you want to share with us? Hold on. You're muted. Sorry. There we go. Can you hear me now? Yeah. I can hear you. Okay. Sorry. Um, so people are always watching you guys. So that's why it's so important to be consistent. Um, it may take them a while before they reach out and start showing you interest, but the minute that you stop being consistent is when they're going to start wondering, like, where did she go? And you're going to lose a customer that another distributor is going to gain. Um, and so not only are you doing yourself and your business a disservice, but also for, um, for that person. Um, and then I'd also written this down a while back ago, Brittany mentioned it um, from the leadership summit that she went to, um, and I read it often, it's you can make a difference or you can make excuses, but as a leader, you can't do both. So that's all I got. I love that so much. It's so powerful. That like literally gave me the chills and said that I had forgotten about that quote until we spoke it, but it's so, so true. And what Mandy said about people are always watching. So I just want to share this with you guys real quick. When I first got started, I was super discouraged. I don't know if you guys saw in the chat, but Cara said nobody commented on her first or second post. That was me. Nobody commented on my first or second post. My first customer was my sister and she was the only family member who supported me. me. Um, but my sister became my first customer and um, I only got three other customers my first month. So I was not this massive ruler when I first got started and I wasn't getting any interaction on my posts. I was getting two likes on my posts and it was that my husband and Claire, my enroller. So I remember going to Claire and I'm like, what the heck, what am I doing wrong? Like no one's even liking, that's less comedy. And she said to me, she was like, Brittany, people are always watching. I promise you, I know it doesn't seem like it now, but people are always watching. And I can't even tell you, you guys, like, so I signed four customers my first month, four customers my second month. My third month, I signed nine. My fourth month, I signed 23. I did not change anything in between that time. I was doing the same things over and over, but like Mandy said, I was being consistent and I started seeing the fruit of that. But that month that I signed 23, I kid you not, people started coming out of the woodworks and they were saying like, hey, I've been seeing you post about hair for months now. What is that stuff about? So they had obviously been seeing my posts for months, but we're not liking and we're not commenting. So in my mind, I'm sitting there thinking no one is even seeing my stuff, like this is pointless, whatever. But I just kept hanging on to what Claire said, like people are always watching and it's so, so true. And they just had to watch me post about it consistently. And then they jumped on board. And then I want to share one more thing. I did, didn't really sign a lot of distributors when I got started. You guys have heard me say I went Ruby and it took four months for me to go Ruby. Whereas a lot of people you'll hear go Ruby in like a month, but that wasn't me. My sixth month in the business, I signed nine distributors and that just came out of nowhere. It was the same thing as the customers. Those nine distributors, it was like one right after the other, left and right. 
and it was in December, a month when you would think people are busy with holidays. And every single one of them said, hey, I've watched you since you started. Amanda Stein was one of them, by the way. I'm going to shout her out. She joined New Year's Eve, you guys. And she is a diamond leader, almost double, double diamond leader on this team. And she joined that month. Um, but I had nine people that came out of the woodworks and they all just basically said some variation of like, I've watched you since you started. Um, you know, I want to jump in and do this with you. I've been praying for a way to make extra income. But like maybe said, like, if you are not consistent, they will go join someone else. If I had not been fiercely consistent in the season that did not feel comfortable, the season that felt awkward because I was getting two likes on my posts, the season that, you know, I could have easily just sunk back in discouragement. Like I would have not have signed one of your diamond leaders who's on this team today. So it is just so, so true. If you're new and you're like, oh my gosh, I just don't feel like anyone's seeing my stuff. Like take heart to what Mandy just said. They are watching you, I promise. And it is just a matter of time before that seed starts to sprout. But you don't know the life cycle of that seed. They could sprout tomorrow when they see your post tomorrow. They could sprout next week. They could sprout next month. But you have to be consistent or it'll never sprout. So. Well, I love you guys so much. I'm so proud of each of you. You guys just literally blew everything out of the water last month. And I know you guys are all promoting again this month. Um, thank you so much for taking time, such short notice to share with everybody. You guys, I literally sprung this on them like two days ago. <laughs> it was like, all right, Sunday at five. Can you guys all get on? I'm, I know the team is just dying to hear from you guys. And um, that's just what kind of leaders they are. For you guys. I love you guys so much. And rearranging their schedule to get on here is such last minute. Um, you know, just to help you guys feel just even more pumped up and equipped to go out there and also promote this month. So anyways, thank you guys all for being on. We love you guys so much. And I cannot even wait to announce more promotions this month.